Hummingbirds Jeweled Messengers of the Skies, Part 1. What do we really know about hummingbirds, the jeweled messengers of the skies? These tiny, warm-blooded creatures live life on the edge, their vibrant colors a blur as they dart from flower to flower. With unmatched aerial abilities, they're among the most spectacular animals on Earth. Yet their existence is a delicate balance, constantly teetering on the brink of starvation. Hummingbirds are unique to the New World, primarily calling South and North America their home. In these regions, they are an integral part of the ecosystem, with many plants relying on them for pollination. Their fast-paced lifestyle is fueled by flower nectar, a sweet, energy-rich substance that they consume in large quantities. These extraordinary birds are a marvel of evolution. They're the smallest of birds, yet what they lack in size they make up for in speed and agility. In flight, they're a blur to the human eye. Their rapid wing beats making them appear as ethereal, glittering specters. But with the help of high-speed cameras, we can slow down their supercharged lives and marvel at their incredible prowess. Their wings, beating up to 80 times per second, allow them to hover in mid-air and even fly backward, a feat unmatched by any other group of birds. This unique flight mechanism is a testament to their evolutionary journey, a journey that has equipped them with long, thin bills and tongues to probe deep into flowers for their nectar bounty. Despite their high-energy lifestyle, hummingbirds must rest often, spending about 80% of their day perched. Yet even at rest, they're on high alert, their survival hinging on their ability to feed constantly. For a hummingbird, starvation is always just a few hours away, making their existence a constant race against time. These extraordinary birds live life in the fast lane, always just a few hours away from starvation. As we delve deeper into the world of hummingbirds in the upcoming scenes, we'll uncover more about their evolution, their mastery of flight, and their survival strategies. But for now, let's take a moment to appreciate these jeweled messengers of the skies, the hummingbirds. About 50 million years ago, the first hummingbirds resembling today's sword-billed hermit began their unique relationship with flowers. These tiny avian ancestors relied on insects as a food source, but as they began to visit flowers to extract these insects, they inadvertently started serving as pollinators. Over time, the hummingbirds' diet began to shift. They started to appreciate the sweet nectar inside the flowers as more than just an insect trap. It was a quick and easy source of energy, perfect for a creature that leads such a high-speed life. And so they began to drink the nectar, carrying pollen from flower to flower as they did so. As their diet changed, so did their bodies. Their beaks, once designed for picking out insects, became longer and thinner, perfect for probing deep inside flowers. Their tongues too evolved, elongating to lap up the sweet nectar inside. But these changes were not without sacrifices. Their legs and feet became so small they could no longer hop or walk, only perch. By shedding these excess weights, hummingbirds gained the ability to hover in mid-air, a skill unique among birds and vital for their new feeding habits. But these adaptations did more than just enable a new diet, they also made hummingbirds incredibly reliable pollinators. Unlike butterflies and bees, hummingbirds aren't deterred by cold, damp weather. They will visit flowers in any weather, making them an irreplaceable partner to many plants. These tiny birds have become so specialized that they now live on what can be described as an energy knife edge. Their high-speed lives require constant feeding, and they can drink more than their body weight in nectar each day. To meet these high-energy demands, they have even developed the ability to remember which flowers they have visited, avoiding wasted trips to flowers without nectar. From their initial reliance on insects to their current role as reliable pollinators, hummingbirds have undergone a remarkable evolution. Over millions of years, hummingbirds have evolved to live on an energy knife edge, becoming irreplaceable partners to many plants. This evolution has shaped them into the extraordinary creatures we see today, glittering jewels of the skies. Hummingbirds are not just unique in their relationship with flowers, but also in their unmatched flying skills. These tiny aviators are the epitome of aerial adaptability. Unlike other birds that gain power and lift on the downstroke and then fold their wings on the upstroke, hummingbirds employ a different strategy. They rotate their wings at the shoulder, twisting them to gain lift and power on both strokes. 
This unique flight mechanism makes them the most accomplished flyers with precision. They can hover in place, dart forward and backward, and even flip upside down, all with an elegance and speed that leaves us in awe. Their high-energy lifestyle, however, comes with a cost. These little dynamos need to feed almost constantly, consuming more than their body weight in nectar each day. Their supercharged metabolism is like a car engine that's always revving at the red line, always just a few hours away from running out of fuel. To cope with this, hummingbirds have an uncanny memory for mapping and remembering every flower in their territory, helping them avoid wasted trips to flowers without nectar. And what about the flowers that provide this crucial nectar? Well, they've evolved right along with the hummingbirds in a fantastic example of what scientists call coevolution. Many of these flowers produce copious amounts of nectar and have long, thin shapes that only hummingbirds can access. The birds get the food they need, and in return, they carry pollen from flower to flower, aiding in their reproduction. This intricate dance between hummingbird and flower has led to some of the most specialized and fascinating relationships in the natural world. The hummingbird's insatiable appetite for nectar and its unique flight abilities have shaped the evolution of these flowers just as the flowers have shaped the evolution of the hummingbird. This intricate symbiotic relationship has shaped both the hummingbird and the flowers they pollinate. Despite their high-energy lifestyle, hummingbirds spend about 80% of their day perched, resting, stretching muscles, and grooming feathers. You see, despite their relentless energy and constant motion, Hummingbirds are actually creatures of rest. When they're not buzzing around, flitting from flower to flower in search of nectar, they're perched on the branches of trees or shrubs, taking a much-needed breather. They rest, they stretch, they preen their iridescent feathers, and they do it all with the same intensity and precision that they apply to every other aspect of their lives. The importance of rest for these little avian acrobats cannot be overstated. Their bodies, built for speed and agility, are also incredibly delicate. Without regular periods of rest, they would quickly exhaust themselves, their tiny hearts beating a thousand times a minute, their wings flapping at an unbelievable rate. But rest for a hummingbird is not merely about physical recuperation. It's also a time for personal grooming, for maintaining those dazzling feathers that catch the light and transform these tiny birds into living jewels. With their long, slender beaks, they meticulously clean each feather, ensuring they remain aerodynamic and beautiful. And what about rain showers? Unlike many other birds, hummingbirds don't shy away from the rain. In fact, they seem to enjoy it, using the natural shower to help clean and brush up their feathers. When a rain shower comes, it's not uncommon to see a hummingbird darting in and out of the raindrops, bathing and drinking before returning to its perch to preen and dry off. However, even in these moments of rest, there's a constant need for feeding. Remember, these are creatures living on an energy knife edge. They burn through calories at an astonishing rate, and starvation is always just a few hours away. They remember which flowers they have visited, avoiding wasted trips to flowers without nectar. So, while they may spend a significant portion of their day at rest, Hummingbirds are never truly off the clock. They're always planning, always preparing, always ready for the next burst of activity. Hummingbirds have developed incredible survival strategies, including a remarkable memory that helps them avoid wasted trips to flowers without nectar. Consider the life of a hummingbird. Small yet mighty, living life on the edge, fueled by nectar, and constantly battling the threat of starvation. To survive such an intense lifestyle, they've developed a number of strategies, one of the most remarkable being their memory. Hummingbirds have an uncanny ability to remember every flower they've visited and the timing of nectar production. This means they can plan their feeding route, returning to each flower just as it's refilled with nectar. This kind of memory is called episodic memory, a trait that's rare among animals, and it's thought that this ability has evolved to help hummingbirds save valuable energy and time. And it's not just flowers they remember, these tiny birds can also recall places of danger and safe havens. Their brains, though small in size, are big on power, with a large hippocampus that aids in spatial memory. This allows them to remember the location of each flower within their territory, whether it's a sprawling forest or a tiny urban garden. And what about when food is scarce? Well, hummingbirds have a survival strategy for that too. 
When nectar is in short supply, they switch to insects and spiders for a protein-rich diet. This flexibility in diet is another key to their survival. But their memory isn't the only thing that helps them survive. Hummingbirds have a high metabolism, burning food quickly for energy. To conserve this energy, they enter a state of torpor at night, slowing their heart rate and dropping their body temperature. This nightly hibernation helps them save up to 60% of their energy reserves. And let's not forget their extraordinary flight skills. Their ability to hover, fly backwards, and dart away at a moment's notice not only helps them feed efficiently but also evade predators. These flight skills, combined with their memory and adaptability, make the hummingbird a true marvel of survival. In the next part, we will dive deeper into the secrets of these incredible creatures. We'll journey into the mesmerizing world of hummingbird courtship, where these tiny avian acrobats dazzle with aerial displays of love. Imagine, if you will, the air filled with the whirring of wings and flashes of iridescent color as males vie for the attention of females, each performance more breathtaking than the last. But life for a hummingbird isn't all sunshine and nectar. When night falls and temperatures drop, these warm-blooded wonders face a new set of challenges. How do they endure the long, cold nights? We'll uncover their surprising strategies for survival, revealing a resilience that belies their delicate appearance. So, are you ready to delve deeper into the life of these jeweled messengers of the skies? Stay tuned to uncover more secrets of the hummingbirds. You won't want to miss it.